So today we're going to talk about another use for cauliflower and um, cauliflower is a pretty popular dish among people who do plant-based, raw food, that type of thing. And there's something that they call um, cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to illustrate today and Mercy is going to demonstrate what she calls Spanish rice and so that just has to do with the flavorings. So um, Mercy, what are the ingredients and um, how, how much mm -hmm. of, of what are we having today? So we have one tomato and one small bell pepper, the yellow one. You can use any color, but it's just to give variety of colors. One a small avocado or half a big one. We're gonna do two tablespoons of lemon, half a cup or handful of um, cilantro. And a green onion is gonna be just one strip of green onion. And we're gonna do half a head of cauliflower, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of chili powder. Now, uh, and the chili powder is something that Mercy mixes up on her own. And so that's something that we can give the recipe for. Um, and also, how much cayenne are you putting in? Just very tiny. Like a, a trace amount? A dash, yeah. Okay, all right. So um, let's see. So first of all, we're gonna do the the rice. Okay. So in the meantime, perhaps you can press Scoop this out and just press it, mash it with the fork, and we're gonna do the rice like. So we're gonna pulse it. We don't want to blend it or process. Just pulse it when we have this ready. Okay. So what should the cauliflower look like? The cauliflower is gonna look like uh, rice. And with, with the flavors that we have, it's gonna taste like rice. Okay, it looks like rice. If you can see it, it's just like rice, kind of like rice. All right. So. so you're gonna do some of these things separately and then some of them mm -hmm. you're gonna um, process together? Yes. Okay, so. I'm gonna need the food processor, but I'm going to cut smaller parts of uh, the cilantro because the processor doesn't do too good job with the cilantro. So I usually cut it this first, and then I put it in the food processor. And, and the same yeah. for the onions? Yeah, the onions need to be done in slices. Mm -hmm. So while I process, my gonna help me with that. Okay. So this is ready and very tiny ah, slices. Okay. Okay, so we have the cilantro and the tomato. And the bell pepper. Is that good? Yeah, very good. And then the juice okay. can go there. I'm going to process. Gonna pulse it. You can do it by hand, but this is just very fast. If we're missing a few pieces, we just have to. And does this go do in there again. as well? That one will go on the dish. Oh, okay, just on top? Yeah. Okay, this is ready. Okay. We've got there. And the onions are going there too. <coughs> and the mash um, avocado. We got there. I think this is good. That's a good idea. I love the way you did it. It's good oh, to really? Yeah, you did it just in the avocado. <laughs> Great invention. Okay. 
Okay, and then do yeah, I mix this up? Yes. Okay. So we have our <clears throat> onion, I mean, the, our salt. salt, our paprika. Mm -hmm. This is looking super colorful. Yes. Oh, we gotta move this out of the way. And then we have our chili powder. <coughs> and we're gonna add a very tiny amounts of cayenne pepper. Just for the flavor. And then a little bit of the lemon. It's gonna be about two tablespoons of lemon, so you're just gonna calculate it. All this right. is about right. Right. And the big bigger pieces that didn't um, blend well or process well, we just removed them. I, I think we we doing good. There's not many of them. Okay. That should be ready. All right. This looks great. And I think it's looking super good. All right, wonderful. So this is um, Spanish rice with um, cauliflower.